Uh, hi, uh, my name is Roger Blair. I'm a longtime member of the Oregon California Trails Association. I'm uh, located right now in Meacham, Oregon, which is a small community nestled in the uh, valley uh, near the summit of the Blue Mountains of Eastern Oregon. Uh, Meacham, uh, it lies on the original Oregon Trail and originally was called Lee's Encampment. The uh, little community uh, takes pride in calling itself the capital of the United States for a day. So why would this little community call itself the capital? Well, in, uh, in 1923, a hundred years ago, uh, Warren Harding was running for re-election and his administration had been rocked by a series of scandals including the infamous Teapot Dome scandal and he decided to shore up his image by taking a tour uh, across the United States and giving stump speeches. Uh, he, uh, this tour was to, uh, he called, the, called it the Voyage of Understanding and it was a two month long tour of 15,000 miles. He was going to take the train across the United States, go to Tacoma, Washington, where he would board a ship and go to Alaska, the first president to speak in Alaska. And on the way back, he was going to give a speech in Vancouver, British Columbia, also the first president to speak in Canada. From there, he would re-enter the United States in Seattle, reboard his train and go south to San Francisco, Los Angeles, and uh, San Diego giving uh, stump speeches along the way. From San Diego, he was going to uh, reboard a ship that would take him through the Panama Canal and sail back to uh, Washington, D.C. An executive director of the Baker City, Oregon uh, Commercial Club heard about the president's planned trip and uh, decided to, that maybe he could take, uh, uh, take an opportunity to invite the president to stop in here. This uh, fellow's name was uh, uh, Walter Meacham, unrelated to the town of Meacham, and he had founded the uh, Old Oregon Trail Association in February of 1922, four years before the better known uh, uh, Ezra Meeker founded uh, the Old Oregon Trail Memorial Association. Plans uh, for the Old Oregon Trail Association was to greet the president here in Meacham and uh, put on a uh, pageant at what he called Topple Blue Mountains that uh, would reenact uh, the history of the Oregon Trail and the people that were, in, uh, that were instrumental in uh, uh, Pacific Northwest history. The uh, president accepted and uh, sh uh, plans were made for him to arrive on July 3, 1923, uh, almost exactly 100 years ago. On the day of the, the arrival of the president, the uh, estimated eventual number was 25 to 30,000 people descended on this little community of 51 residents at the time. The, after, the, uh, after the Old Oregon Trail, and specifically Walter Meacham, greeted the, the first couple, they boarded an authentic Concord stage coach that was driven by a veteran stage driver, Joe Woods. Joe uh, took them across the little Meacham Creek and out to uh, down the main street of Immigrant Gap, the false front village that had been built uh, specifically for this occasion, right across the tracks here in a meadow. That, uh, that over, they retired again to the review stand uh, to begin the real official speech festivities. But before the president embarked on his speech, uh, they recognized old timers who had arrived in Oregon Territory in 1853 or earlier. Uh, Charlie Becker had walked 200 miles from south of Baker, Oregon uh, to, to be here. He was a, he had been a Pony Express rider and, and, showed, and showed the president a copy of the message that he had carried that announced President Lincoln's election. The uh, President Harding was, was so taken with the story and with Charlie Becker that he actually invited him to go along uh, as, as the, his guest uh, to Alaska. But Charlie 
said that his hay was cut and he had to get home to stack it. Uh, uh, before the president launched into his prepared speech, he made a presentation to Walter Meacham and the old Oregon Trail Association. The president had uh, viewed a, a copy of the film that had just been released, The Covered Wagon, uh, based on the book by uh, the same name by Emerson Huff. Uh, Walter Meacham himself, on behalf of the Old Oregon Trail Association, had a presentation for the president himself and, and awarded the president a 15-carat plated uh, honorary lifetime membership in the Old Oregon Trail Association. Thereafter, the president launched into his speech in which he, he uh, lauded the spirit and the efforts of the, uh, of the early pioneers. The president then expressed a, a strong desire to visit the Indians in their village. So they walked over to the Indian village where they were greeted by uh, three leaders uh, uh, with an interpreter. Uh, these leaders were Cap Sumkin, uh, a Cayuse, a uh, Poker Jim, uh, a, a Walla Walla chief, and Yuma Pine, a Cayuse chief. Cap Sumpkin uh, presided over a ceremony uh, whereby uh, they adopted the first couple into the Cayuse tribe. Uh, thereafter, the, the Indians put on a, a dance and afterwards uh, they uh, smoked the pipe of peace with the uh, President of the United States. The ceremonies uh, and festivities then uh, m moved three miles west uh, to Immig what is now Immigrant Springs State Park. Immigrant Springs was a, was a uh, famous campground on the Oregon Trail. And there the president was to, uh, uh, to uh, commemorate a, a, the passage of the 1843 wagon train uh, 80 years earlier, as well as dedicate uh, the completion of the last 20 mile segment of the uh, of what, what is now known as the Old Oregon Trail Highway, uh, and also at that time better known as US 30. From Meacham then, they, they went on into uh, Portland where they celebrated the 4th of July holiday the next day. Then uh, boarded the train, went to Tacoma, caught the uh, ship, went to Alaska, and as we know from our history books, in Alaska the, the president became uh, ill. Uh, he did manage to uh, complete his speech at Vancouver, BC, uh, but when he re-entered uh, and reboarded his train in Seattle, uh, they went straight south without making any further stops until they reached San Francisco and checked into the Palace Hotel, where the president died on August 2, 1923. Somewhat prophetically, the uh, president had expressed two days before, at a news conference two days before his departure from D.C., uh, had stated that uh, only serious illness or death would uh, delay or postpone uh, this trip. The stone, uh, which still exists at Immigrant Springs State Park, uh, thus uh, stands not only as a memorial to the 1843 uh, wagon train and the early pioneers, uh, not only to the completion of the first transcontinental highway, US 30, from coast to coast, uh, but also uh, as a memorial to the president who on July 3, 1923 made uh, Meacham capital of the United States for a day.